Okay, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Okay, good evening. Thanks. Uh, thank you so much for um, attending the demo this evening. On behalf of the implementation team, Sky Citadel. Um, so this is a team. This is Mary Uzo Tola Jibril, uh, part of the implementation team. Oops. The slide is not moving. Okay. So we've got our project uh, mandate for which we're going to be using today. And it's an organization called Elderberry Opticians. And they are a leading uh, retailer in the UK with two operation, with operations in two regions, in Africa and Canada. And they have decided to modernize their human resource management system by migrating to Oracle HCM Cloud. With three divisions and several business units, the organization recognizes the importance of leveraging advanced technologies to streamline HR processes and enhance efficiency. Additionally, elderberry optician, uh, opticians aim to hire five new apprentices within the next three months as part of its commitment to nurturing talent and foster growth. So this is what we're going to use as our use case for this project. So this is just a basic overview of the Oracle HCM the organization structure, which comprises of the enterprise, that's the highest level structure within the Oracle cloud. We've got the division, the legal entity, business units, and these make um, up the organization structure. We've also got the workforce structure, which uh, is broken down into job, location, grades, and um, department. Because of time, I cannot read everything. So these are our requirements for today. And this is uh, all the tax that we'll be going through to implement uh, Oracle for this organization. We've got like 19 tax to go through. And these are some basic information that we've got from our client or basic requirements we've got from our client to fulfill this. So yeah, I will hand it over to Tola now to um, start the project. Yeah, thank you. If you can stop sharing. Thank you very much, Mary. Um... Yeah. Any information you need, Tola, we can be giving you. Yeah, so thank you very much. So um my name is Tola, I'm part of the development um implementation team. So um we are starting uh by creating the the project, the uh, elderberry up up um project. So basically, so we just uh start from the settings and action. So um from certain action, we will click on the um, setup and maintenance. So um, so then we click on the, um um this breadcrumb here. Then we will go to manage and um manage implementation projects. Just gonna be uh fast as um so uh basically just eye level. So basically we're. We are creating the um we are implementing the project um so gonna create the project itself so um so um if this page shows um the name and the code and description and status so basically so the name of the project is um L the very so it's really like that. Then um once I click the um the populate itself. So basically, so I would probably say um I'm probably say the start date is um is February. We just use that for the purpose of this presentation. Yeah. Then um 
so everything is everything is looking good so basically this is actually the um the command here so yeah so that's that that's oracle standard um so basically we'll just go straight to nest sorry about my network um uh taking a bit um it's loading it's okay it does take its time so yeah okay yeah so now it's open. so basically then um so uh i need to select the offering so basically i'm starting from the composition management yes which, which is exactly what was required so uh, the first workforce profile is required it's needed benefits individual compensation yeah we need that as well so i'm taking that then um the workforce compensation yeah i'm taking that the total compensation statement yes i need that um absence and management yes we need that uh we might need hr as well let's go down i missed something absence and management. yeah okay uh yeah the payroll yes workforce effectiveness i need that as well workforce deployment yeah so um for the purpose of this presentation i just want to quickly do a high level presentation so um yeah i can actually check through so i don't think I'm, i'll probably need will need that for this presentation and just click this yeah the uh, workforce deployment yes i need that hero the absence management under it yeah the workforce scheduling the workforce prediction the individual composition the time and labor the workforce provider as required as well the network as work as required as well uh, just click them all. Uh, just clicking them. So I want to make them act active. So they are included. So the workforce deployment is also also required. Okay. So I'm including these. The two settings I'm including career development, I'm including questionnaires, I'm including workforce performance, I'm including talent review, I'm including uh, success, I'm including this as well. So I guess that's the work. that's all about that. So I guess I've actually uh clicked all required um all required offerings. So now I'll just um save uh save an open project here. Let's see what comes up. It's popping. So it's loading. Yeah, so that's um yeah. Okay, so next I'll just um we we'll just click on done. Um that's for the that's for the tax. So the next thing is um location. Which one is next so, Yeah, I could probably do manage okay, let me do location. Um hold on. So um let me click on the project that was created now. Yeah. So this is the project you can see. This is the Adderbury um optimization project. Then um this is the code. Um so this was the date this that was picked. So I guess um the could the project is ready, the implementation project is ready for Elderberry. So basically I'm starting by um let me create the the um the geography. So um I'll just say manage. Mm -hmm. No, don't click geography. We don't need that one. So just location. Location. Straight. Okay. Okay. Manage location. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Manage location. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. So, uh, yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, this location, we should always look out for the workforce deployment. So basically, it would be, um, We'll be making use of this workforce deployment because that's the SS, um, that's the Oracle standard. So, um, so I'll just click on 
this is what I need. Manage location, yeah. So um yeah, so that's all. Uh yeah, yeah, that's it. Um um then I'll click. Let me scroll. I'm looking for the location. Okay, yeah, this is the location. So this is the location here. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just go to tax. Okay, yeah, up now. So um yeah, the location will not be created. So now I need to create the location. I'll just click on create location. Yeah. So it's fucking it's coming up. So basically, yeah, so this is the this is the create location um page. So basically, um for the purpose of this um presentation, I'll probably use 1951. Uh, yeah, at least that's the reasonable one. So basically this, this command set is Oracle standard. Then um yeah, is on is an active. Okay. So I'm creating um L okay, Elderberry. Elderberry, Elder, Elderberry, yeah, Elderberry. Um, I just want to use that for the purpose of this presentation. So, um, I just Elderberry as well. So it's active. Um. So this is um United States. I don't need United States. I definitely want United Kingdom. Uh, I could probably search or probably type it. Oh, let's uh, Kingdom. Yeah. Let me see the changes. Yeah, it's changed. So it's changed now. So um, so basically, I'll just use any. Just like um, pick. So I'll probably say um King King Street or King Close or whatever. Um town um city as London or um, counting probably greater London. Um so postcode, um I'll probably just say and pick any postcode uh just make it caps. Yeah, S C one. Um just picking any 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 um I said any postcode so so um official I can you can fill in any um wherever we want yeah but because this eye level I just want to be as as fast as possible so basically some fields yeah might be um might require to fill them but because um I don't want to take much of your time let me just like let me just review or have um Yeah, that's okay. Oh, that's all right then. So basically, after reviewing, I'll just click and submit. That means it has accepted the um the field. So uh, that's submit. Yes. Um, it's rolling. It's passing. So yeah. Okay. So that's that's um my request has been confirmed. So now I'm clicking on done. So uh, that's uh. That's about the location. So I've created the location. So now let me go to enterprise. And uh, so, uh first. So yeah, so I just click on the search bar. So I'm um I want to create enterprise for algebraic option. So basically what we should always watch out for. Uh, we've actually got lots of um stuff here. Is if it were a good field, normally we are using we are sharing this board with other people from um different continents. So that's why we've got uh, a lot of things here. So basically, we're watching out for this um workforce deployment. So um so I'll just click right here workforce deployment here. Find the workforce on there. Yeah, so basically, I don't have kids. Uh, go to tax. Go to tax now. Yeah. So um, yeah. This okay. So I'll just come to um create. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Correct. Yeah, to, great. Yeah. Thank you, Jupiter. Let's go to create. So basically, um, 
Yeah, this date. Yeah, yeah. Can leave that then. I'll just change it to um Elder Berry. El, El, maybe I don't know why I use this long name. Elder Berry. Oh, yeah, so um <laughs> that's active. Yes, so um uh, let me go to this. Yeah, so uh, let me see if we cover. Sometimes it takes it takes a while before before the location pops up. So let's let's see if it's up. What was created is not up yet. So for the purpose of this, we can actually use um can use blue sky. So we don't wait for that to come up. So it takes it takes a while sometimes. So we just use blue sky anyway. So uh. So it's meant to change for why is it not changing though? No, you haven't changed. Uh, just click okay, on it. Just, just go back. Okay. Yeah, go back and put blue again. Okay. Blue. Yeah. Okay. Search. Search. Make it blue. Yeah, make it blue. blue yeah. Click it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, sir. That's okay. Yeah. Then everything changes to blue. Yeah. Normally we've created Edgeberry or it might it might take a while. Sometimes it takes I don't know, it depends on what what's happening on the environment. So I don't want to wait for that. So that was why I picked this. Normally what what I created for Edgeberry should have uh, popped up. I, I should have kicked click that, but it's not up yet at the moment. So yeah, so we could we could practically do some checks, some clicks here, but um, for the purpose of this project, I don't want to um, uh, waste the time uh, on that. So I would just, um, I guess, uh, I would just submit. Yes, because um, everything looks good. Yeah. So I'll just submit here. Jibri, are you getting ready, please? Because the next is um, okay. I don't have to create. Are you done? So that so that's done. Um, should 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 I just show the steps for manage geography? Or there's no need, uh, pastor. No, no need for geography. Okay. Think... Yeah. So I'm done. Let me just stop sharing. Yeah. Yeah. The next one after this is just uh, I think division. If I'm right. Division. Yeah. yeah division. Division, division is um. Is okay. division is okay. Uh, Jibril will do division. Yeah. Right, Jibril. You're ready. Yeah. 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 I'll I'll come over. Now. Okay. Yeah. Let me stop sharing. Yeah. Once you stop sharing. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, stop sharing. About you. All right. Uh, good evening. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, my name is Jibril, and uh, I will. I have three assignment here as a team. We're working together, and then um, so going to um, yeah, manage the divisions, manage the legal entity, and then um, yeah, manage a legal data group. And then um, legal entity HCM, if time permits. So I'll be sharing my screen. Uh, just a moment. All right. Can you can you see my my screen? Yes, we can. Yes, sir. All yes, right. sir. We can see your screen. You bring. Go okay. On. All right. So um yeah. So um, a division is a high level organization that um, supports functionality for roll up uh, reporting. Um. It assists above uh, legal entities. So, uh, in order to manage uh, to uh, manage the division, uh, just go to um, yeah, short of maintenance, and then um, okay, manage implementation implementation project. Okay. I need to look for the name since uh, we already have the name in the system. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the theory. Okay. All right. So we have it here. Uh, very opt. So we we'll go there. And yeah. what is the task? The task is um, to yeah, manage the division, so manage percentage division um, 
percentage. Enter. All right. So we have money division here. Um, we're going to, we have three options here then, but we'll go for the deployment, which is uh, this very one. Okay. All right. So we are here. And then uh, we're going to look for money division. All right. So it's here. So I'll click on the arrow here. I'll go to task. All right, so then we have the this to fill add that in add that add that very let's see sorry Jibri, because you are creating a name okay yeah because yeah I'm coming so because it doesn't exist then we'll come back here so that's why we can't find this so what we then do is uh, come to create a new one. So we have all this to fill the starting date, which is um one one uh fifty one. Okay. Uh, fifty one. Yeah. All right. Then the name and uh Gary. Yeah. Uh, so then the uh, internal um address line. So the, um let's let just look for an address. Okay. This is and then go. Mm -hmm. Active, yeah. Okay, um, action reason. Okay. I think this one, uh, now we might have to just leave that one. Uh, okay, then we have address here. I'm going to fill. Uh, okay, then code location. That's all right. And that uh, very. Very call location name. Mm, okay, so what name? Um, all right, so let's say, um, sorry, Jubilee, you can just remove yeah. the two thousand. The what the twenty twenty four. In the code and just search because you're searching. Yeah. I just remove here, yeah, remove. Okay, I should remove the code. Just remove. Yeah, remove the code and the uh, location. Uh, yeah, that one as well. Yeah, remove the code. Remove the code. Okay. Yeah, then search. Search. All right. So, but I think you put double R. It's add a bury. So there's a there's a double R before the bury. I think it should oh, be sorry. one. Yeah, yeah, very. All right, thank you. Okay, let's search. If we could, it might not come through because remember we couldn't find it yet. So don't worry, uh, okay. because I think this location seems to be very very slow today. Don't worry, just do cancel. Do cancel. Okay. All right. All right so to, yeah, that's fine. So your division. Yeah, so my fine. advice is the identification. So hold on, hold on. before mm -hmm. you save the editor in the name, put DV. After the Edelberry, put DV. At least you know that's your division. D division, okay. No, just DV. DV is fine. DV, DV. okay. All right. No, capital okay. D. Okay. Cap capital. Oh, capital V. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So you can. Right, that's fine. So you can keep... Then save them. Huh? Next, next, yeah. next, 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 next. All right. The thank next. you. Yeah. yeah. All right. So um. But no, there's nothing. Don't worry. Don't bother to pull reporting name because this is uh, you're creating a division. If they have okay. a manager, they can put a manager because this is a new implementation. They don't have a manager yet, so just skip it. Click on Wait, next. Will it go with the next? Okay. No, no, it will. It will. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. That's fine. So then, um yeah. Then that's all. Then say uh, submit. Save. Submit. Submit. 
Yeah. Yeah. Save our summit. Save your uh, summit here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Confirmation. Okay. All right. So that has been done. And um, so the next thing now is to go to um to, to, to manage the legal entity. Uh yeah. So let me just click on done here. Then um all right, done here. Okay. So um yeah, done as well. All right, so we come here and uh, then we're going to query legal entities and entity, you know, unequivocally um identifying given rights and responsibilities under commercial law um through registration with the territories, appropriate authority. Legal entities have the responsibility to account um, for themselves, you know, the balance sheet, uh, income statement, um, specified uh, report to company regulators, including uh, taxation authorities. So uh, in order to uh, create this, uh, we need to go to set up. Uh, so what I'll do here, all right, okay, I have a uh, money legal entity here already. So I can just click on that and enter. So we have... have uh, sorry, sorry uh, Jubri, I think you need to create yeah? your legal address first. Before to do what? You need to, I believe you need to create your legal address before legal entity. Uh, okay, so, all right, so I can't skip that. No, because it, it's going to require... It's going to ask you for an address. Okay. Is it on your contact? I can't remember now because I'm not even with this yeah. now. Yeah. This, uh, this yeah. Legal address. You need to legal address. Yeah, you have to do that one first. Okay. All right. So um, the legal address, uh, since it's based in UK, we're going to search for UK. Um, let me see now. Okay, that's UK. All right. The first address... Um, my days. Okay, since we have here already, so uh, we can just may I just as well use that. Um, yeah. So, okay. So, so um, on, on. before you do, hold on, hold on. Before you do yeah. that, address mm -hmm. line one. Could you just put your uh, name because it will be easy for you to quickly identify it because you might find it difficult to look for this. No, in the before the flat, flat sorry, after the flat, sorry, before the flat actually. Just put yeah, before the flat. Yeah, put okay. Edda, Put Edda yeah. It will uh, be easy to, to put that in the file. And, uh, Barry. Can we address okay. we have? Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. That should be fine. All right, Edda. It will be okay, easy. So, be easy. All right, thank you. Then I will then yeah. save... Um, sorry, sorry, just, just one minute. You're searching. Sorry. It's meant to be create. You haven't created. <laughs> so, sorry, this is oh, a sorry. Site. Our session, okay. Um, you need to create which is a bit low. If you go down, yes, so you, need to, yeah, you need to, yeah, create. Nah. all right, thank you. All right, so, um, yeah, so there's a difference between session and create. So now, because we need to create, we didn't, we didn't have um, one created before, so thank you for that. So we'll go back again, the same process. I'll pick on uh, another kingdom now. We need to do. Um, Edda Berry, yeah, Berry. Then, uh, let me just see. Okay, but all right, okay, all right, Okay. Uh, time zone. Um, do we need to put that? Okay. It's not mandatory, but it's not compulsory. It's not mandatory. Okay. All right, let's leave that. But your postcode says C R R. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be one. One R. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You see R. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So then we save that. I believe it's been saved now. So. Yeah. No, no. You don't need to save. You need to save and close now. Yeah. I need to, yeah. So. 
it's been said now. So then, thank you. So yes. I think we now we can then do the the, 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 the the legal address has been done. So we want to do the legal that's legal entity now. Um. Okay. It's still the same uh, code manage um percentage legal percentage entity. All right, manage uh legal entity. Okay, that's the right one to click on. Yeah. All right, then you yeah, will come no, here and no. click on this. No, no. So to go back, just do cancel. Do cancel. Okay. Okay, see it's giving you another legal entity. So just do cancel. So click on the scope. Scope. Can you see that scope? No, on the right hand side. Okay, yeah. Legal entity, you will see scope. Yeah. No, no, don't click, don't click on scope. Click on the legal entity that is beside it. You can see the manage legal entity. Manage mm -hmm. legal entity. Then click on the. No, click okay, on manage the, legal entity. Yeah. No, don't click on that. So on the go right, go right. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Go right. Make a cursor to yeah. Click on that one. Yes. Okay. All right. Is it no, manage? So the, no, 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 no. Again? Okay, give me the control. I'll just quickly show you. Give me control. Uh, I'm not sure if you can give me control. No, I, maybe I, I don't. I don't. Oh, request. I don't know. Let me request. Don't worry. Let me request. Okay, I approved it now. Okay. So what I need, what we need to do is click on this one. Can you see this one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This scope. So I'm gonna yeah. click it. I'm gonna open. So yeah, so what you now need to do is to yeah, now. create a new one. Okay. Yeah, then apply and go. But make sure anytime you see a scope beside what a, mm -hmm. whatever you want to create, always create that link. Yeah. So you can now create your own. So you can just go here and create. So this is where you need to create your own. So let me give you the control back. I'm not sure if you can. Yeah, you, you should be able to control back. Okay, all right. I'm taking it now. Thank you. You take it. All right. Okay. Um, United Kingdom. UK. Um, name. And uh, the Dagari. Okay. Now that Edaberry put L E. Uh, capital L and capital E. So you know that that's your legal entity. Legal entity, yeah. Thank you. Then the date... Um... No, you need the number. So just put any number up to six or seven number. Anything, any number. Two, three, four, five, six, yeah. That's one. Dates, for, don't worry about dates. We don't need the dates. It's not even mandatory. Just go okay. for anything. I should, leave the, I should leave the dates. Yeah, leave the dates, yeah. It's not mandatory. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's one. All right, then uh, legal address. Yeah, so you can now pick up your legal address which you created. I just put that it's there now. So go to search. Search. Then put your elderberry. Fingers crossed, it will be there. Mm -hmm. Then search. No, no, search, search. No, no, don't, don't do that. Search. No, no. The search, yeah, that one, that search, that one. Okay, good, it's there. So make it blue, make it blue. No, no. Go make it blue? To, yeah. Click on the, yeah. click, click on the full address below, below. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, then click on OK. I think it should come up now anyway. Normally it should be, yeah, we always make it blue. Then it should come up. Okay. okay. There. Right. Yeah. So then uh, we're going to tick the payroll statutory units, then uh, legal employer as okay. well. Um, Place of registration. Don't worry, don't, don't worry. Don't worry about that one. All right, then we can then save and close. Hold on. No, you're not saving and close. The legal entity number, you can see that it's red. What that means is somebody has used one, two, three, four, five, six. So just use any number, don't do... Maybe six, six, seven, seven. Just, seven, nine, eight, yeah, seven, just six. keep on going. No, keep on going. Just as much as possible. Five. So, yeah, that's fine. Four, that should be. Yeah, that's okay now. Yeah. 
That's oh, oh okay. It's it's showing the error. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because somebody has used whatever number you say already exists. Because you're using one, two, three, mm -hmm. four, five, six. So yeah, that should be fine now. Yeah, that should be okay now. I just yeah. pick Yeah, no, that's fine. It's not case it's not throwing any random error. number. Okay, so is that okay now? No, okay. no, no. Company number. Okay. All right. So then I will say. Huh? No, no. Company what? number. Company number. Where is it? Uh, oh, okay. Company number. Uh, um. Just put any number as so. well. Okay. Then um, what is uh, place of registration? It's not nursery. Somebody. Uh, somebody has created C U I T. Somebody just created it. What are we yeah, about? Just was... put, just put P A Y E P A Y E P A Y E. Right. I just pray. I just pray it allows you to save and close because well, I don't know what they've done now. So, yeah, that should be fine. Now click on. Is it okay? okay? Save and close. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. That's fine. So, so yeah, I'm sure it's 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 gone through. Huh? Yeah, it's gone through. Yeah, it's gone through. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. So then, um. The next thing is a uh, money uh, legislative data group. Um, yeah, a, a, a legislative data group is um is defined as a payroll and uh, related data. Excuse me. A uh, partition contest for for user. So I'm going to we're going to manually uh, create that now. And uh, so what I will do is to go you, back. Uh, hold on, before you do that. Sorry, before you do mm -hmm. that. Again, yeah. back to this uh scope, uh, under the uh, manage legal entity. No, no, no. Manage legal entity. The mm -hmm. scope A N Pharma U S. The one I click. Yeah, that, yeah. Click on that. Click on that one. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Click uh, on that legal entity. Click search your own legal entity. I'm not sure if it's there yet. It might not be there. Yeah. Click. And your okay. It's not there yet. Okay. Click on. Uh, click on. Yeah. Select an ad. No. Select an ad. No, select an ad. Yeah, that one. Apply and go. Then, under search, you can see the first search. Yeah. Click on the arrow beside the first search. Yeah, click on the arrow before. Yeah, click. Then search for your elderberry. Yeah. Not um, that's not that's not correct. Edelberry is double R. Okay, then search. Yes, yeah, session. Okay. Okay. Make it blue. Make it blue. Yeah, just click on then. Yeah, just click on it. Then save and close. Okay. Then save and close again. Okay. okay. Your own comes up now. Can you see on the scope? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So you can yeah, do the next, you can do the next one now. Whatever you want. Thank to you. Do. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, um. Now it's uh, to how to manage like uh, a legislative data group. Um. Yeah. I'll come here. Okay. Uh, hold on. Oh, so, hold on. Sorry, Jibri. For yeah. money, uh, legislative data group. Remember, I mentioned that you guys don't worry about it. Always use the Oracle standard. Remember, that's when we created, we started using GB. Instead of me creating, initially we created, I think, Blue Sky, Citadel, uh, mm -hmm. Legislative Data Group. Then we yeah. added all, all the U, uh, UK stuff there. But yeah. the, the recent one says that we should not be using Oracle standard, which is GB Legislative Data Group. If it's Australia, you go to Australia, AU, Legislative Data Group. If it's US, US Legislative Data Group. So don't bother to create anyone. So it, since this is UK, don't worry. Let's use Oracle Standard, which is GB Legislative Data Group. So, but we don't need to create anyone, anything anymore. So, so we should but, skip that. We should skip that. Yeah, let's skip that. Okay, all right. So that um that, that means the next one is how to manage legal entity HCM. Yes, that's all it. right. Can we go for that? All right, so it's no, here. Uh, you're there already, so it's, it's below. Just yeah, click it. Yeah. No, let's see. Let's see. Um, money legal entity. 
UCM percentage. Percentage UCM. No, you're there already. It's below. If you go. Ah, down, okay. Yes, uh, yeah. No, no. It's ah. on the. I think the number four. Yeah, that one. Yeah, no, yeah. Information. On that one. So for you to do that, you need to click on the scope. Yeah, good. Oh, okay. So okay then. Um, all right. So I'm gonna come here. If not there, then we're gonna create. No. Um, select. Select and select add. and add. Apply and go to task. All right, then we're going to start, look for it, uh, um, search the name, add a berry, and a berry. All right, so I think we're going to put uh, um, uh, L-E-H-C-M or something like that. No, no, because it's, yours is only end a berry, so just search. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Do save, save and close, then it should open. Just click on save and close. Yeah, so it's open. Right. So that is it that we going to correct. Okay. Um now we have the start time. This start word okay. So I use this as well. Work end time. I don't know if that's no. important. But no, start start time would be when they will start work, which is nine o'clock in the morning. When they will end. Oh, okay. Yeah. Similar right. to what for the enterprise. It's okay. it's gonna be information you're gonna put here anyway. Um, so, maybe zero. Uh, that's um seventeen hundred. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then um, standard working hours, nine hours. Uh, no, you can put 40. But they're going to be working 40 hours per week. 40 hours per week, okay. Yeah. Boys, um, okay, 40. All right. Okay. Then um, we have standard working hours frequency. I don't know if that is necessary, but then. Yeah, um, it's necessary. Weekly, uh, huh? yes. Weekly, yes. yeah. Yeah, standard annual working duration. Um, I think in the enterprise is uh, two thousand, if I'm right, two zero zero zero. Okay. Yeah. All right. right. Annual working duration units. Hours. That is um. Hours. Is it? Yeah. Hours, yeah. yeah. Hours, yeah. Okay. All right. Then we we'll come to. Uh, salary level. Okay. The salary level now. Um. Okay. Let me, let me just. You said? It's assignments. Yes. It's okay. How do you do? I leave it. No, no assignment. Just pick up assignments. What you saw, they just pick it up. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Then uh, worker number generation. Uh, um, for this one, just put. Not used, but that's what is on the enterprise. Not used, so that okay. automatically means that they're gonna pick up your number. Um, I mean, just like we did last week, gonna it's yeah. gonna be a manual entry, so not used. It's fine. Okay. Allow time, allow employment terms override as at assignments. Uh, yes, just become no. okay. No. People group uh, flex field structure. Um. Now we have options here. Yeah. yeah. Click on search. Click on search. Search. Then All type right. in people. 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 Yes. Yeah. Then search. Search. Yes. So select this one. Make it blue. Make it yeah. Then OK. All right. OK. Minimal yeah. working age. Um, 16. Or is it 18? Yeah. OK. 16, 16, 18, depends on what you want. That's fine. Yeah, 16. All right, minimum retirement age, um, 60 or 55. Yeah. yeah. Uh, minimum, I don't know, whatever you want. So, <laughs> All right, 60. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maximum retirement age. Uh, let me do. Let me do 55 here. Yeah. 
Okay. Then uh, maximum is uh, 60. Yes. Then maximum age of the minor. Just just signal that. Just signal it. <laughs> oh, okay. Employment uh, model. No, just signal that one as well. Okay, all right. Uh, Okay, uh, what next now? Um, action view format. The, the, yeah, just yeah, signal that one. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, with this now, I can submit no, no, this. No, no, you cannot submit. Go to okay, page what? three units. You can see you've only done the. No, go up, go up, go up on the left that, side. Go up. Yeah, this one. No, no, go yeah, up. That, that, no, go up. Down. Then on the left. No, no, go up again. Sorry, go up. No, no, scroll up. Scroll up. No, scroll, yeah. Yeah, on the left-hand side, you've only done legal employer. Click on statutory, yeah, payroll statutory, sorry. Okay, so, but I will save this before this. No, 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 you have to do this before you save. The, okay. This is where you will now add your uh, uh, legislative data group. Okay. So, can you see? so just um no click on the arrow down click on the arrow down so that you can pick up yeah so you can search that's it then search no search they don't come okay. just put gb 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 yeah search mm -hmm. then make it blue Okay. Yeah, that's all. So fiscal year, I know fiscal year is uh, is it sixth of uh, April? So you can add it or just leave it. It do doesn't make any difference. Okay. okay um, you can just put oh six oh six six. No, I think it's dash or oh four. Oh four. Yep. Yeah. Oh sorry. No six. No four. Twenty um, twenty four. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right, so I can submit now. Yes, yeah, submit, yes. Okay, thank you. Yes. Yeah, that's it. All right, so um I think that is it. Yeah, that's all. You've done your legal entity. I mean, all because right, I'm so, looking at the content, I don't know what's next. So yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's all I have. Um, that's that's my own assignment now. Okay. So uh, okay. I've come to the end of mine. I don't know if anyone else wants to do. Or <laughs> uh, should I stop sharing or should I leave it up? You can stop uh, sharing the rest, the rest uh, I guess will be done next week. Um, but um I don't know if um Uzo and um Mary um they want to like highlight what difficulties they're having so um pastor can help us um, um yeah I, I i think i just need to practice a bit more basically that's just um really it there was a an issue with the enterprise bits but that's been sorted but i just need a bit more practice that's all yeah thank you I think I just like uh, I think um, is it was it taller that I did the first one, just like he did, and you try you guys try to create location you couldn't find it. If you can't find it, don't worry. Please use blue sky, that'll be fine because I think it's taking time. Because I tried to create one this today, and I think Tola messaged me as well. He tried to create almost four, we couldn't find it. So maybe there's a program that is not running at the back end. Because when we created the Blue Sky Citadel, we saw it immediately. But yeah. he created four. He couldn't find it. I created almost three. I couldn't find it today. So that means something is not running at the back end. So don't worry yourself. Just pick up Blue Sky Citadel. It should be fine. Thank yes. you. Thank you very much. Okay. So, uh, Mary, the... the, the um... Do you want to share the with the um, your the issue you're having with the enterprise? Do you want to probably you want to share your screen and then they will look at it and see if they can help you out? Mary? 
sorry, I tried to unmute. It was frozen. Um, yes, yeah, just like Uzo, I just need to go through some of um some of the steps again, and I think I'm just trying to remember the issue I shared with Pastor. I'll have to look and see if. I think you mentioned that uh, it's giving you a warning message, and I said just proceed. Just yes. Warning. The warning will allow you to proceed anyway. So, uh, mm. and also I mentioned to you earlier that, um, uh, I mean, you can see that uh, Tola actually created an enterprise, maybe, let me say 10 minutes ago or 15 minutes ago. What I mentioned is if you check the enterprise tomorrow, you won't see it anymore. It's gone. And it's gone for life. So you will never see that enterprise. The, 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 the reason is when it's a green field environment, you will only create one enterprise and it will be there for life. But on this environment which we're using, almost 10,000 people, are, are <laughs> they're logging in at the same time. And everybody is creating enterprise at the same time. And everybody is creating it on a correction mode. So they will always override your own. So just like even if you go there now, you might probably not see that AWA anymore. Somebody has overriding, overwritten on it. So just to let you know that so that's the way it works. So don't try to say, oh, what I created yesterday is not there. It won't be there. That's your enterprise. Your project will be there. Your division, everything you create will be there. Enterprise will be the only one that will always go. So, but don't worry yourself about it. This is a test environment. It will always be like that. And there's nothing we can do about it. Yes, uh, thank you for that because that was something that I did not quite understand and I was stuck on it. So yeah, your explanation today. But for that one, ah. I'll try it again. Although when I did click on OK, it mm -hmm. would just um it would just be blank. It would oh, just okay. like be nothing on the on the on the screen. So I'll have to go back and start again. Okay. Yeah, so I think uh, if you have any problem, just um pin me on Telegram. So yeah. Okay, no problem. Thank, Thank you. you. Sorry, uh some of us we cannot communicate. I don't know what's happening. You so cannot I'm watch wondering how yeah, we can't log into Oracle. Uh yeah. yeah. Um I was gonna say that um when when we finish that the team stays behind. Yeah, the, the password has changed. Okay. Thank you. I have a question, sir. Yeah, what's the question, Mr. Godwin? Um the the when when entering dates, I see that we type in the date. We don't use the calendar icon. No, it depends Is there on a reason why. No, there's no reason. It depends on how you want it. I don't know how to I mean. I don't normally select that. Um, there's a selection button which you can use. I don't normally do. I just type it anyway. But if you know you want to pick it up, that's fine. But if you're very, if if you need to be very fast on implementation, just type it and make it very quicker. Because when you start selecting, that will take mm -hmm. you a bit of a time. Okay. It can take, it can take a little bit of seconds. If you know, I mean, just like um, I'm not sure maybe it's Tolani or Jibre. They just when they go in. You just click on uh, Edelberry and it just gives you location. It gives you whatever you want. It makes it much more faster rather than you typing and start checking things. So professionally, just quickly type it and move away. But yeah, if you think, okay, I'm doing this, this for the first time, you can select the button, look for it. The only thing is it takes a bit of seconds out of your out of out of your time. Okay. The reason why I ask is from a testing perspective, we, we would yeah. want to no, yeah, yeah, yeah. that button is um <laughs> is active or whether it's working. It will always work anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, from and, and also um from a testing perspective, if the enterprise would always be overwritten, how do we guarantee a test of that? No, don't don't for this one, don't mm -hmm. test it because you won't see okay. it anyway. Okay. But no. normally in a green field implementation, mm. it's gonna be there because you only create one, it will okay. be there. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. That's okay. Nelson, you have your hands raised. Yes, please I have a question, Pastor Tunde. 
in a real it? life a work environment could you give us uh, the best practice how will a project manager work with the implementation team of what secondly of what importance how can this implementation skill knowing how to navigate and um, configure this or what we have done now how is it important to a project manager okay firstly i've never worked as a project manager before but okay. yeah um <laughs> for a project manager i want to believe that uh um, definitely most of the project manager should know uh, how the implementation works, but they don't need to have done the implementation. So, yeah. but remember, when the in the green field, before the implementation team comes in, Oracle would have come in already. They would have done the demo, just like you guys are doing. Oracle would have come and they would have done the demo. The project manager will be there. So they will have asked a lot of questions. I've been in a lot of greenfield environments. By the time I even go there, all the SMEs, the project manager, the project, project sponsor, they already know how to do Oracle. Even though they don't, they what I mean, what I mean, they already know how to do Oracle, not necessarily know how to implement. They kind of hands off, but they already have the knowledge. So when you're implementing, it's easy for them to relate to what you're implementing, even though you are not there when Oracle themselves were in with them because oracle will always come especially when there's a big project they will always come they won't just buy the products and tell you implementation to, to come and implement for them because they don't know you they wouldn't trust you immediately but oracle would have demo to them Oracle would have told them how i mean how this is their um system or their current legacy system this is what they have or they could have really map it a little bit for them, not necessarily to, just on uh, on a high level, not in the nitty gritty. So they would have done everything, and the project manager will be there. They will know what I was happening. That's why most of the time when there's a uh, implementation, they don't always stay with you because they will always know what you're doing. And remember, you have to do CRP, which is called conference room pilot, where you now need to demo. So what requires demo to them, you will now need to demo. So if you're saying what is not good, they will know. Oh, wow. Wow. Thank you so much for that clarity. Well understood. Any further question? Okay, if there's no question, um, what I just want to say is um, thank you, Mr. Tola, and thank you, Mr. Jubri. It was very, very good. How many minutes do we use? Because I'm actually timing everybody. So we spent, let me say, close to uh, an hour to do, I can't remember how many, how many we've done. I think only five or six now. So what I want to say is next week, we need to be very, very fast. Very, very fast so that we can finish. We're supposed to finish today, but we couldn't finish, So which is fine. But I think I like the way you're, you're taking it easy because it will make everybody to understand. But Next week, let's make it a little. Let's push a little bit, so we can make it much more faster. So we can come. Or if not, the way we're going, we're still gonna meet after Easter, and I'm not sure if I will be available. So, but yeah, but let's try as much as possible to to make it quicker next week. So because everything you are demoing, you need to show it, create an employee and say, can you see what I created? This is it. This is the division. This is a BU, um, business unit. This is a legal entity. You need to show them. You're not just creating this. When you now, once, once the HR admin goes in, they should be able to pick up everything you've been, part of what you did today and part of what you're going to do next week. So let's see whatever we can do. And um, go with your post. So I think I've done my own part. I'm not sure if anybody have any questions. Kami Sola has her hands raised. Uh, uh, thank you for me. Thank you, Pastor, today. Oh, please, I just have a question for the yes. sake of the BA. Because at the time when we are writing the stories, you know, there are some field uh, people have already created a lot of things there. So, and uh, for the testing sake, because, for example, maybe um, let me use work relationship info as an example. So, okay. there's a particular field where they put um, SWC destination. So I'm getting okay. there, I realized that 
there are different things on the field, like pen. So okay. I believe probably some people have created some stuffs. So I try okay. to bring everything out because okay. also that it can be, we can be on the same page with the testing team as well. But I'm not okay. sure if we can ignore some that were being created uh, by people that is not from Oracle. Or we have okay. to for the sake of testing. No, 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 you have to. Whatever we do not create, just ignore it. As long as it's not mandatory. Now, if you mean work relationship, you're trying to say when you created an employee, is that what you're saying? You got uh, to a work relationship. Is that what you're saying? Let me just quick. I'm just trying to open uh, open all the myself. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Let me let me share my screen very quickly. All I right. Think, I you. think I know what you're saying. So I just want to. Uh, sorry, just one. Yes. Again, I'm using my place of work uh, um, laptop. So, okay, let me share. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Is this, this is the one you're talking about, this one. Number 15, yes. Yeah, just skip it if it's not mandatory. And I'm so sure it's not mandatory. Just skip it. Oh, okay. Because the reason why I'm asking, because we've assigned some of these tasks to ourselves as BAs. So, which we have to write our stories again. Each written. one of them. Each one of them. Each one of them, yes. Every one of them has been assigned to <laughs> each person. And I'm not sure all these are necessary. Uh, because, I mean, the whole essence is just for you guys to. Let, let's just check if the Edda Berry should be there. I think it should be there now. You see, this is your new one. Actually, I can select it. It doesn't matter. Okay, don't let me select because you haven't finished. Okay, so blue it says. Uh, I, uh, let me just pick up anything here. Yeah, but the problem is, what you don't want to do is to, um, is to, because most of the work relationship, blah blah blah. Most of them we didn't create them. For example, national ID, we didn't create anything here. So mm -hmm. my advice is just majority of them just keep them. But you can see but if you want, you can do it. Phone number, it might be applicable. But if you come here, you will see that people have already created a lot of junks here. But I can see that many of them are yeah, not, something like this. Yeah. Yeah. That is what I'm saying. It's gonna be confusing to you. The one and you might not be able to know which one is Oracle standard. I know this is Oracle standard. I know this is Oracle standard. Uh, which one again? Uh, Maybe we can base it um, on our on our requirements. Okay. Yeah, I don't want me to start selecting their rubbish. So okay. for this one, for example, just pick up home home phone and this one as well. Yeah, contact number. I think this one is Oracle. This one, two, and three. Any other thing? I don't. I don't think they're Oracle. They're not Oracle. So things like this, you need to be careful because it will work. Don't get me wrong. It will work. So can you see? So you just put your number there. I don't even know it's going to take my number. So, yeah. Whatever is applicable to you, you can use it. For example, look at this. Yeah, you can see this is Oracle's old man work. So nobody has created junk here. So I know this is old man work and that's it. Me to do okay, it. all right. Thank yeah. you, sir. Maybe my question yeah. should have been what and what with the testing team. So are they going to test from this um, particular place? Because when we are writing our stories, I know they'll be they'll be testing as well so that um, they won't say this does not meet the criteria. This one has failed. I, I, I would, I mean, we've mentioned this before. Okay. The two ways to, to do this testing. I mean, firstly, I've sent the test script to you guys last week. I'm not sure if any, I could, I can't even remember where I sent it, but I think I sent it on the Telegram. Did, yeah, that's also the did, yeah. did, did, you, did you get it? I think I sent absences and HR, core HR. Did you all get it? Got it last week? Yes, sir. Yes, we received it, but we thought it's for like this. Okay. Uh, that test script is actually, because to be honest, it's like five or six years ago, but it's still a little bit relevant. It will be relevant. Most of those test scripts will be based on what is here. 
what is on this system. It should not be based on the BA requirements, which we're using to test, which sort of which we're using to do the setup now. It, I mean, most of when you're, you're in a place of what they won't tell you to test the requirements. They only test tell you to test uh, um, uh, based on what is there. That's what they would do. So all they say they want to say, okay, uh, legal entity, make sure you select uh, uh, Edaberry LE. Then uh, I think it says expected result on actual result. So if you go in and you say Edaberry, then yeah. So that means that's fine. That's actual. So most of the testing will be based on what is on this hire and employee. That's what I know. That's number one. But what I mentioned last week or two weeks ago was, please do your test based on this. That's number one. And I send you the test scripts. And also do your test based on, uh, so, and also do your test based on, um, uh, based on the uh, requirements. So the BA have done their requirements, then do a test on that. So they said they want to create a project, go in and check the project they've done. They want to create an enterprise, go in and check the enterprise. But you might not be able to see the enterprise because it may have gone. They wanted to create a division, go in and check the divisions they created. Maybe one for Australia, one for UK. So do that as well. Unfortunately, I don't have a test script for that one. So I, which is the back end. I've only got the test script for the front end. So it's just to create, give you guys more time so that you'll be able to see whatever they've created so you don't it doesn't look as, as if you're testing as an hr admin you guys are no hr admin you guys are more like an implementation team as well so why don't you check whatever they've implemented from the back end check each one of them whatever we've done today check each one of them they say oh we created a location let me check that location they've created a legal address let me check that legal address so go in and check them one by one so that's part of your testing so, and once you finish that, then you cannot come here as well and start checking them. Okay, let me create an employee. Would I be able to uh, select a legal entity, which is what I selected earlier? Would I be able to select, um, uh, I mean, uh, what else is here? I wish, uh, let me quickly, let me do continue. Because the main thing they're doing is, they're not doing citizenship. So you can just say continue. So let me do continue. Was it not continuing? Oh, sorry. They're not creating driving license. Well, I think the first one was actually passport. So they're not creating citizenship. Just click on continue. Passport, they're not doing that. But if you want, you can just add that one for an employee. That's no problem. They're not creating. So just click on continue. Then, I mean, I'm talking about from the back end. They're not creating driving license. Click on continue. They're not creating visa. Click, click, click on continue. But like I said, if you want, you can do it on if you have the time so family and emergency just click on continue but what another thing they're creating is they're going to be creating business units position job and uh, what else um grade department location that they're going to be doing that they haven't done that today they will be doing that so these are the things you need to test and make sure yeah i'm creating an employee i'm able to see them see whatever they've done from the back end so that's what you guys are doing are testing on so from the back end and from the front end and um then that's it so that's what you're doing you can see that automatically this one gives me 40 hours uh sorry 40 hours per week this is coming from the legal entity because i created i said i want um blue ss legal entity then it says 40 hours. So that's another thing you're testing. Is it coming with 37.5 or is it coming blank? If it's coming out blank, that means they haven't added the 40 hours weekly in the legal entity. So those are the kind of things which you're looking at. Sorry, uh, sorry sir. Didn't they have a, a, a compressive list? Because like the uh, the one with uh, which Uzo did, which is, um, yeah, it's uh, clear. Uh, we've started practicing with that one. I will even try to go into the Oracle site and then follow, as you said, to see yeah. if we follow what is supposed to be made. But because we couldn't log in again, yeah, we couldn't do anything. But with what you say, yes, we tried. But from what I'm trying to understand now, we have to do test everybody's, um, uh, what he has, uh, I mean, created what he has done on the on the website, right? You're and talking about the 
the blue scar citadel requirements the one we yes issue. we try to do your own, the one you did so to to start with now if we from what i'm hearing now so after finishing with your own for instance sir so we have to go over what our other police are you know what they are creating maybe they are right you mean the one they are the one they are creating today, today is that what you're saying? Like today, for instance, yes. No, 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 you don't need to do the one for today. The one for today is just for you guys to understand. Uh, practice, how, yes. Yeah, just practice. You don't need to go through and uh, the Edda Bray uh, enterprise of no, you don't need to do that. Whatever yes, you guys yes. are, are looking at or testing is the blue scarcity there one. But remember, exactly. okay. I'm taking it to blue SS. I mentioned that last week. Oh, I hope everybody was around. So Blue don't go... Yes, we sorry, we heard that. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So don't go in and say you fail everything now. You can't see Blue Scars. Thank you, sir. I see I have that one question. Is there any compressive list containing the requirements? Sorry. Is there what? Any compressive list concerning the requirements. The reason why we change the requirements, is that what you're saying? No, uh, list with the requirements that we, we are testing. So it has to be blue sky. Is it blue sky SS? No, or, blue uh, SS. Blue, blue SS. SS, okay. So look at, look at this. So, blue SS. You will see a lot yes, of Yes, I understand now. Yeah. Well, my question is, do, do you ask Compressive list of the requirements for us. No, I think Uzo shared it the first time we we started. Yeah, that's the only one we have. Yeah. yeah, that's the only one I have as well. <laughs> I don't okay, even have. Okay. Yeah, I don't even have. I mean, I I know uh, Sister Fumi sent it to me yeah, to change because exactly. I wanted to change everything from Citadel to Blue SS. Unfortunately, okay. sent it to me. I couldn't pull it out. I couldn't save it as Excel. I don't even know. The link she sent to me is so complicated, and that's why I explained to everybody that please, so when you're testing, no, and I don't see you around last week. Maybe that's why you're asking this question. So, uh, uh, yeah, maybe I was not around on one of the days I traveled, uh, but I was around on uh, last one. Yeah. So I said, please, so you won't, uh, you won't see Sita there anymore. You will see Blue SS. The reason why that's I have to exactly. change to Blue SS is I want us to be using GB Legislative Data Group. Which is Oracle standard because Citadel is based on Blue Sky Citadel legislative data. That's why I just changed everything. So, but unfortunately, I couldn't update the requirements to Blue SS because she sent the link to me. It's so complicated. I just couldn't change anything. So that's why I explained it. Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. okay. Any more question? Yeah, it's just a quick one, but specifically for the BAs, can I ask when we would have something, the uh, requirements on the Azure board? Is that for me or for yeah, the BAs? I think um, you said for the BAs, uh, Mary, okay. um, to, um, to I, I believe that... Um, there's supposed to be something there already. I, I don't know. I have just checked this evening. There is nothing. It's just okay. like it was before. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we, are, we, we, are just, we have started populating the, the PBI, but we've not actually moved them to, to where where you can actually have access. That's why. But we've started, we've still moved them probably, um, maybe we'll probably, we'll, we'll, when we start a meeting, we'll move them so, so you can pick them up okay. to active, yeah? Yeah, thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. So we'll be waiting for Mary and Uzo next week so that uh, we can finalize the remaining. But um, I mean, Mary and um, Uzo, are you doing yeah. to finish the remaining implementation? The yeah. implementation a lot of. <laughs> you can, so you can stop recording you can stop recording sorry i, for, I completely forgot whoever is recording stop recording